What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your iPhone or your Android phone as a webcam on your computer and it looks freaking amazing. Now I will admit it does work, at least in my testing right now, it does seem to work better on the iPhone over Android, but you can still at least try it out at the very least. Also the setup process for the iPhone and Android is basically exactly the same. It's just that the app gives more features and better functionality with the iPhone over Android. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to the App Store if you're on iPhone or go to the Play Store on Google and search for Epoch Cam. Now there is a free version and a paid version. I would recommend using the free version first just so you get an idea of how to set this up and how to use it. Because once you buy the app, you literally just open it up and it'll work after we do the setup process once. So once you download the Epoch Cam app, what you're gonna do is go on your computer and check out this link. It's in the description down below or what you can do is just go to canoni.com. Once you get to the website, there should be a blue button that says get started now. And then from there, you can either click download Windows drivers or download Mac OS drivers. It depends if you're on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. Once you click that button, it's going to allow you to download the zip folder. Once you open up the zip folder, all you're gonna do is double click that app file that's inside there and install the app. When you go through the installation process, all you're gonna do is hit next, I agree, install. Now you will have to reboot your computer, so you can either do it now by hitting finish or you can do it at a later time, but you do have to reboot your computer. And you'll see Canoni, click on that, and then tap on Epoch Cam Viewer. Once you open that up, it's gonna automatically try to connect. So what you need to do is open up the Epoch Cam on your iPhone or Android. And once you have it all opened, it automatically connects and it allows you to completely use the webcam. Now with the iPhone app, especially if you have the paid version, you have a few more features that you don't on Android at the time of making this video, such as I can switch the cameras from the back to the front. There you go. Also, you have a button that will allow you to switch the camera image mirror-wise in case you wanna do that. You can also turn on the flash on the back to get more light. You have a button for settings that allows you to change the connection method because you can connect this wirelessly or USB on iPhone. NDI, which is a networking thing, or you can just have automatically connect, and that's what I do, at least on the iPhone. Also resolution, you can go from 640-480 all the way up to 1080p. You also have a chroma key color button that allows you to change the color of the background if you're doing green screen stuff. And the way you do that is just clicking the little smiley face on the right here, and you can change that to a different color or make it seem like you have a green screen. And on Android, you don't seemingly have as many features. You can switch the camera from the back to the front if need be. And it takes a little bit longer to connect. It like connects every single time, unfortunately. Maybe it's just this Galaxy phone that is not so compatible with the software. Uh, but you can use it. And the resolution also isn't as clean as well, at least seemingly to my eye. It's a little bit more pixelated. And I actually use this app and my iPhone as my web camera when I'm doing my live shows on my YouTube channel. And I use that with StreamYard. So it works with StreamYard, it works with OBS, and it works with other apps as well if you're doing video conferencing on Zoom or Google Meetings or any of those apps. This app will work and allow you to do uh, webcam chats with this app through the phone and use your phone as the webcam. So definitely try this app out the free version at the very least, just to see if you like it. And if you do like it, you can pay for it. It's like anywhere between, like right now I know on Android it's like 550 and on the Apple Store it's 699. So you can try the free version and if you like it, buy the paid version and go from there. But I absolutely love it. Uh, it's crashed on me a few times, but all I do is just close the app on my phone, reopen it, and it goes right back into connecting automatically and the video looks amazing, especially at 720p. And like I said, you can put it all the way up to 1080p. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you guys down the road. Peace.